G'day there everyone, Daniel Anderson here, and today we're gonna to take a look at four new features of Microsoft Loop uh, that are rolling out right now that are going to even further enhance the way that you use, you think, you plan, you create together with Microsoft Loop. But before we do that, if you have not subscribed to my daily newsletter, head over to danielanderson.io, pop your email address in there, and you can start receiving uh, the newsletter as of tomorrow, um, where every single day you'll get some tips, some tricks, some use cases and some training delivered directly to your inbox to help you become better at using Microsoft 365 in under 10 minutes every single day. So head over there, pop your email address in and you can get tomorrow's edition free. On to today's video and we are all about Microsoft Loop. So let's get stuck into the first of the uh, four new features that we're going to have a look at. Now, the first one is going to be the ability uh, for table expansion. So as we can see on the screen here, we've got an issue tracker that is made up of a Microsoft Loop table. Now, you can see that we do have the ability to collapse uh, the left-hand navigation of Microsoft Loop, but what about the actual table itself? So we might have a table that's got multiple or lots of different columns. We don't want to do the, the horizontal scrolling feature. So you can see what we've got now is these two little icon, uh, this little icon here with the arrows pointing left and right. That allows us to expand and collapse our table or the instance of our table on the page. So a great little enhancement there. Now the other thing that we do have, and I'm gonna expand this out, is the ability for us to have summary rows for number columns. Now, one of the columns that we can add uh, is a number column. So if I add another column to this table, I can change the type of column. And if we change it to number, and if we just pop some numbers in here, what you'll see at the bottom of this row um, is that we've got the ability to have some simple arithmetic happening here. So we've got three options. We've got sum, we've got average, and we've got count. All right, so some simple math there coming to loop tables in our number columns. Now the third thing that we've got is some enhanced link previews. So being well with inside of a, a loop page here, we can use the at symbol and then start to type in the name of a file and we can bring in and link to that file. But rather than just having a text hyperlink like we normally do, we can have a new enhanced link preview. So you can see there that we get the title, we get a little bit of information, we get uh, a preview to the file itself. So a lot better from a user experience point of view than just a text link. Now the last thing that I'm going to highlight here is a new little feature here that allows us to boost a piece of content. So when I click on uh, this boost, I can pick a boost, we've got some love hearts, we love it, we've got a let's celebrate, and then we've got to check this out as well. So I'm gonna choose let's celebrate. So let's select this one. Now let's celebrate this. Um, and go great effort, um, Nesta. So let's um, now boost this. So now what we've got is this little, um, it's, it's like a movie player. So when we click that, it's gonna boost that piece of content. In our case, it's a party blows out our, uh, our confetti and then displays our boost um, message there as well. So some great features coming to Microsoft Loop. Um, we had the table expansions, we've got the table summary for number columns, uh, we've got our enhanced link preview, and then we've just seen the ability to boost parts of a, uh, a loop component as well. So thanks for watching, hope that brings you some value. And once again, head over to danielanderson.io and pop your email, uh, address in to subscribe to the daily newsletter. See you in the next episode.